My name is Taylor Leach. I'm a junior at Lakewood High School, and I just recently bought my first car. I'm sure you viewers can remember your first automobile, how you loved it and cherished it and drove it. I remember when I first thought about buying a car, something every human does at this point in their life. I looked and researched all the different cars. What would be the perfect car for me? A truck? A coupe? A tiny car? I got it! Some German engineering would be perfect for me. That's it. That's my dream car. But for what I've got, maybe something more like this. So, now to find an actual vehicle. Something I can touch and drive and buy. So I started looking. One day, my mom came home from work, tired as usual. But she spotted me and said, Hey Taylor, I saw a bus for sale over by Zachary's house. Now I had seen this bus before. It was always by my friend's house and I would see it whenever I visited him. And now it was for sale, $4,000. That was all he wanted, but for me, it was too much. I have a family friend who came and looked at the bus with me. Now he knows his buses, and he knows how much a bus is worth, and he knows exactly what needs to be fixed. But he looked at the bus and said, not for $4,000. So I waited him out. I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And a couple weeks later, the price was down to $2,500. It was finally time to go check it out with my dad. My dad inspected the vehicle from the front to the back. From the bottom to the top and the inside. We gave him our best offer. $2,000. And he took it. I was ecstatic. Next thing you know, we were on our way home. It's got everything I would ever want in a car comfy seats, a pop-up roof, and a fold-out bed. Now as any Volkswagen owner will tell you, buses and all VWs in general require hours upon hours of work and TLC. I needed a bond with my bus, so over the next few months that's just what I did. I cleaned it, learned to drive it, And kept it in working order. Even when it wouldn't start one morning, and I crawled under the bus and found that the clutch assembly was broken and it would need to be replaced, I pushed the bus off the street. I took out the engine, replaced the broken pieces, cleaned it, and put it back in. Restored the seats and got them looking good. Installed the radio, repairing the rusted floors was the next big step, and with the help of a family friend, we welded in new floor pans. It's been a year now, I got my license and drove my bus every day over summer, to work, friends' houses, skate park, and the beach. I made the bus my own giving it my own flavor and its own personal vibe. There isn't another bus like it. It can't be replaced, and I love it. Cool car. Is that a 69 bus? Yes, it is. Oh man, that is the car of my dreams. Hey, you want to trade straight across? No, I think I'll stick with this one. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, bro. Have a nice day. That's a cool car. You too.